Hi guys, welcome to Night School. In this episode I've got something quite special for you. We're looking at a 22 plus 2 Italian fast castle. So if you enjoy Age of Empires 2 content, you're looking to improve the game and you're trying to learn build orders, then start now by subscribing to this channel. Okay, so it's just your normal start. Make two houses with your starting villages and then send them over to sheep. And then your next uh, three villages to come out of your town centre will go to the sheep as well, giving you a total of six on sheep. So, how does this work? <laughs> 22 plus 2 population for a fast castle. Um, so, basically, Italians get a bonus where their research uh, for the next stage costs. 15% less and I've kind of based this um, build order sort of adapted from one that AOE Arena has uh, produced for an arena based uh, tactic which is 24 plus 2 fast castle for any civilization so I've just adapted it for the Italians so the next villager to come out is going to go to a straggler tree and then the next three after that are going to go to berries so the whole sort of aim of this strategy is basically just to boom. That's all there is to it. There's, you won't be able to do any rush with it necessarily because you just won't have the economy behind you to, to do anything with it. So it's mainly going to be based around a uh, economy boom. You may be able to tweak it very, very slightly to be able to get a few, um, a few nights out, um, but We'll see. I mean, perhaps that's the next one I'll look at. See if there's a, a fast night rush we can do for this one. But um, yeah, I just I don't think you're going to have the economy for it. It might be that you, you turn it into an initial night rush with, I don't know, four nights or something like that to go and do some raiding with, uh, but then try and transition into a boom after that. I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure it probably can be done. So I'm sure someone will be able to figure it out. But. Uh, Next village has come out, we'll be able to go and lure a boar. In this case, it'll be a rhino, and then get that back to the town centre. And your next two villages to come out will go to the straggler tree as well, just give me three on the straggler trees. So, um, we do get loom on this um, particular version, but on the, I think it's on the AOE Arena um, build order, you don't get loom because you don't really need it in Arena. The difference with this one is um, you, you can kind of use this potentially on an open map. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but um, if you're doing this on a closed map like Arena and you decide you don't want to get Loom, uh, it'd be worth just replacing Loom with an extra villager just so you've got uh, the economy there. So your next four villages to come out are going to go to the wood line, um, make a lump camp. It's important to note that you did need to make a house there, and we're just making a second house for this first villager to come out. Um, but we've got three more to come out is woodline, make a lumber camp, and then eventually we're going to move these from the straggler trees down to there as well, just so you've got seven on the woodline for the lumber camp. So there we go, we're moving those down as well. So we are going to also take one of these villages from collecting from the boar and lure the second one. And the next Villages to come out, it's just the final one to go to the woodland, and then after that, we're going to have two more go to the ball. So, once we've done that, the uh, weaker villages are going to make the farms. So, the ones who did the ball law in originally are going to make a farm. We'll just get this ball in. <laughs> it's quite a bad ball law. Just panic in there, just managed to get the villagers safe. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to come out, make a farm. And then once we've got the wood like we have now, we're going to make a second farm, like so. And that's all the villages now that we need, we need on the food. So the next two are going to come out to the gold. And then we're going to click loom and then we're going to go up. So yeah, you could potentially use this tactic on an Arabia map. I wouldn't certainly wouldn't recommend it unless you're in a team game and you're a pocket player could potentially use it to uh, do a good boom early um, in the game uh, but certainly in a 1v1 it's a little bit more risky uh, but you could potentially do it if you're able to get some walls up 
you might be okay and the town centers once you do get them up they should be able to protect your economy so it might work I wouldn't recommend it but it might work <laughs> be worth trying it so we're on the way to the fuel age now whilst you're progressing to the fuel age it's worth just researching double bit axe and horse collar certainly double bit axe I'll definitely prioritize that be worth getting a third farm down now as well from those uh, villages down there um, horse collar is, is beneficial but you won't see the benefit straight away but it will help your wood economy going forward once these farms start to uh, expire and certainly you'll, you'll you'll want to get them before you start getting those farms down So these villages that were on the board they're just pretty much just going to clear up all these sheep now. Once we hit the few layers, two villages are going to come out from there and go to the wood. And we're also going to take three villages from the wood here and make a, a blacksmith and a market. It's about to look after uh, a few layers now so we'll be able to see that. I'm just getting them into position so as soon as it comes in they can start making right away in the place where I want them to. Like so. Okay, so I suppose at this point, whilst we just wait for this to happen, it's a good time for me to mention that we do now have a Discord server for the channel, which you can find a link for in the description. Come along, say hi. You can also submit your own games in there to feature on the channel. We can talk about build orders. Um, you can arrange your own games between each other. And uh, just going to be a generally nice, friendly place to hang out. Um, won't be any sort of higher level ELO snobbery going on so it's uh, very much an inclusive uh, server for everybody but as you can see we're on the way up to the castle age now with 24 villages or 24 population I'm just going to wall up a little bit there as well so if you're unable to wall up fully just sort of do some more so that you can be funneling any army uh, that come to attack you into the town centre fire which is kind of what we're going to be doing here a little bit so if they want to get the wood line if it's scouts they'll have to come all the way around and through the t uh, town centre before they can get to them so there is also going to be a link in the description for all the build orders that we've got on the channel there's probably I don't know exactly how many there are but there must be around 20 different build orders on there most of them are generic ones but there are a few Civ specific ones like this one so do check them out and hopefully you'll find some that you find uh, useful. So as you can see we've got quite a bit of uh, wood developed now so uh, once those sheep were gathered we just sent those villages onto the uh, onto the straggler trees. Now we're going to get up, we're going to send four villages from the wood so from the straggler trees to make the first town centre, three from the berries are going to make the second town centre and pretty much from this case on it's just a case of keep placing farms and getting the boom going. So you might find that you struggle a little bit to maintain production from three town centres at first. It's probably going to be more like two and a half villages <laughs> from the three town centres but soon enough you'll be able to start getting, uh, once you get more farms down you'll be able to quite comfortably manage the, uh, the three town centre produ um, production at all times. And it certainly gives you a really good boost going forward. I mean, at this point, if the enemy is attacking you with um, a few large army or they're about to send some in, I mean, you, they would already be here really by now um, in an Arabia game. But if they were doing, um, at this point, you've got the town centre that will protect your economy. You might find it tricky if uh, that you are being harassed by the enemy at this point. Especially if they've been able to push you off the wood, you may not be able to get that second town centre up. So this is why I say it's best to try this on an arena game or a hill fort or you know another closed map where you, you start off with a, a walled base. And it should really work really, really well. It's probably a really good one for hideout actually. Um, but uh, just got to keep making farms at this point. 
getting that economy on the go. As you can see, we are having little instances where there's a little bit of idle time in one of the town centres, but soon enough, we'll be able to uh, get it going again. As I say, it's generally, it's, it seems to be working out as though it's like two and a half villages being produced. There we go. But we've got them all going. And uh, as we get a few more farms down, we should be fine. Should be fine. As you can see, we've got plenty of wood. So we're able to maintain the farm production, which is good. Just don't get housed. <laughs> Happens to all of us, happens to all of us. Um, so, yeah, just keep going farms, keep booming that economy, and then sooner or later you'll be able to um, get a good military sort of mass together. Probably recommend starting to think about getting some military buildings down, and um, possibly. You may want to get a siege workshop down, certainly in this instance where I'm being attacked by archers and skirmishers. It's worth getting that siege workshop down uh, pretty soon and uh, getting a mangonel out to counter the enemy. Uh, really works well with uh, an arena map because you should be able to uh, quite quickly get a um, monastery down. So you may want to neglect putting one of the town centres up straight away and get a monastery instead. Um, so start going for uh, monks so you can start collecting those relics. Uh, you might also want to go for, uh, if you wanted to go for one town centre push, you could potentially get the siege workshop and the monastery down and start doing uh, monks and uh, monks and siege, monks and mangonels. It's not really one that I generally go for as a, as a strategy, so just because I'm not very good with monks. <laughs> Take a lot of micro and I'm just not very good at it. Uh, doing that, um, but there are options for this one. So, uh, if you've enjoyed this one, by all means hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, and you'll be notified of any further uh, build orders that will are added onto the channel and any other further Age of Empires 2 content. But that's it from me. I shall see you on the next one.